Hey everyone, Al uh, for Horror Cards here. Tuning in with a little video of how to run Pits of Inferno. Enter the shortcut if you've completed the quest through uh, just south of Plains of Havoc, the Necromant house that I'm in now. There's an underground entrance just to the south of here, but you run up here, take the shortcut, and you're quickly in the temple directly below Pits of Inferno. Before I start, I'm going to go over some things you might need. Definitely need a dwarven ring for running anywhere through the main hub. I personally use a fire axe to help take care of uh, phantasms when I run. Definitely through. need a kitty. Definitely need a kitty, and uh, the fire axe helps take out the phantasm clones that are oftentimes the uh, things to really trap you in the main room. Um, poison bombs, fire bombs, energy bombs, energy balls, and I use magic walls in one location, so probably want those as well. I'll be running as a 385 EK and should uh, should go through no no trouble. Only going to be running six of the seven thrones today because the seventh um, the plague throne is really tough to do solo. But here we go. Gonna check handmaiden first. The entrance to handmaiden can be an issue, but usually is not. Looks like it won't be today. And once you're here, you check to see how many hands there are. One, two, three. Make sure you get both sides. Four, five, six. If there are seven, it means the boss, the handmaiden, is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double check that there are just six. They can go invisible, but typically don't unless you're on their screen and you're targetable. You can wait for this uh, betrayed wraith to go north, then uh, eh, should be fine. Famous last words. Let's see, this area, this area, this area, this area, this area, this area, this area are the ones you can run on. And uh, so I'm gonna wait till I won't have any issues running through. I'm gonna probably tempo her just to make it easier. But yeah, handmaiden's super easy and quick to check. The trade wraith is uh. A little annoying to get trapped by because of how much they heal, so gonna be quick. Now wait for it to go up. Okay. And just like that, we're out. There were if you saw there were about ten monsters to the northwest there, so that's what I was avoiding. But seeing my werewolf bammy drop, I only use that because it mitigates pretty much everything has a strong auto attack here. It mitigates a lot of the incoming damage if I were to get trapped. But yeah, moving on to the next, gonna check Count of Sorrow next. Got instantly paralyzed. Common thing to happen in that main hub. Pretty much everything paralyzes there. I keep my fire axe on for the seal because the phantasm clones can be a big, uh, <laughs> big issue if you don't have a way to kill them. Uh, there are a lot of demon goblins here. Not a lot to worry about because there are only two real goblins. These are also uh, demon goblins, so really easy to take out. Uh, there's nothing to worry about with them. I usually just run by them. But for clarity's sake, uh, this if you don't know the path, you can get super lost here, but you just follow the path that you can find a wiki or just use this guide as a uh, means to run you through. I'm going to drop a poison bomb just for ease of exit. A lot of clones here. so Dropping the poison bomb helps keep the clones off me. And Count of Sorrow spawns right here. So, oh, the real one got through. Gonna target the Nightmare down, throw on my Umbral Axe to burn through him real quick, like. But, yep, yeah, nothing to worry about. Phantasms don't have huge bursts by themselves. So, so because Phantasm clones are now trapping me, oh, I really. Ah, it looks like that's not a clone anymore. Didn't do this the best, but. Probably just actually by speaking. No excuses though. Once this nightmare gets a little lower health, should be no issue to get out. Nice. Okay, going to just uh, resupply, get my mana back to full here. And that's two bosses checked already. And. Next, we're going to be checking Dracola. For that, I'm going to want a, my energy bomb on an easy hotkey. And I might even wall off the dragon uh, 
undead dragons that can be a headache there. The real thing that's a headache for checking Dracola is the liches. They can they can be uh liches will be bitches. Uh, their summons bone beasts and their tendency to spam paralyze is a real real headache. But um ready to run on out. Hopefully there aren't too many phantasm clones. Nice, just like that. We're on to the next. I'm gonna keep my fire axe on for the hub. Get past the uh, phantasm clones. I'm gonna lure these undeads up to the north, just to make the choke point to the south that you'll soon see a lot easier to handle. Tempo her down. Lose these guys. Going to drop a firebomb there to prevent the liches from following me. And here we are. Dracola spawns right at the southernmost, uh, right here, this area. You don't need to run in all the way. I ran as far south to see his spawn, and he wasn't there. And just like that, we have two che or three out of six that I'm going to check. Checked. So I'm just going to drop an e-bomb. Oh, mana's pretty full, so it should be all set. Probably going to get paralyzed any second. There we go. Yeah, the things in here, the number of liches and the demon, everything spams paralyzed here. I'm going to drop in here, drop an e-bomb, just fill up on mana, and uh, you can get this checked on real quick if you know what you're doing, which I'd like to think I do. Here I actually want poison bombs as my uh, rune hotkey cast on self, because hellfire fighters you can get out of your hair super easy if you poison bomb them off. Gonna grab a second one. Oh, looks like I'm gonna grab a Hellhound more like. So I'm gonna wall that guy off. And this one is probably the most dangerous that I'll be doing today. Um, look at that. Just 2,500 health gone, just like that. Gonna just create a little extra space and poison bomb off the choke points there. The next turn I'm gonna do is actually the most dangerous. Uh, spot in here, this bridge right down here. Gonna lure these things back north. Get them out of my hair. But yeah, this uh, this throne can be a headache, as you might be noticing. Um, got chunked there, but nothing too serious. Man is doing fine. Health's fine. Health firefighters really can do the damage. Imp spawns right up here, not here, so nothing to worry about. If M's here, I would probably, truth be told, call a friend because uh, to clear this area of Hellfire Fighters um, enough to focus on the imp, I'd really want a shooter. But yeah, super easy. Um, I'd probably be most comfortable as a as a different vocation, um, as like a level 300 RP should have no trouble. right here I'm gonna uh, looks like I uh, didn't move quick enough gonna throw my umbrella on do a little damage but gonna probably take a step down here lose this lost soul drop a magic wall there so one doesn't take its place and look in this area for Mr. Punish so Mr. Punish on my server died pretty recently so there's a very 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 low chance of him uh, being here refresh the magic wall as it's soon to run out and, oh, I guess it didn't refresh, my bad. Um, but yeah, just gonna target the, or damage the lost soul as it runs at um, reasonably uh, reasonable health. See that there's no Mr. Punish in this area? I would usually stay a little bit longer if uh, he hadn't died so recently, but yeah, it was like a week ago. And they have, um, every PO1 boss has like a two to three week spawn cycle. Um, I've killed Countess Sorrow like three times in a row, like 16 days, 17 days apart. Um, and killed Countess like four times. Um, that's the one I've killed most. But as you can see, I'm not really worried about my health too much here because um, it's all, almost all physical damage, which is really easy for me to avoid. Going to chill here. Check the loot, make sure it didn't drop a... no. No steel boots for me. And uh, last thing we're going to check today is the massacre. So 
we're going to run up here, get my fire axe on. It's really just safety mechanism, the fire axe. Refresh my health, and go on through. Um, here, I'm going to drop that poison bomb, switch to this. A lot of physical damage incoming, so we're going to throw on the Talse as well. Um, but over here, I'm going to just get myself in a spot where I don't, where I'm not overwhelmed by the uh, amount of monsters on my screen. But at my level, this, uh, these, nothing really to worry about except these steel boots. Nice drop. So I'm going to find a way to. Oh, there's a good spot. Just gonna trap this uh, fury. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna show you a little trick here. This area to the north is super easy to trap stuff with. So I'm gonna do energy bomb with a poison bomb. Now it's trapped. Guess I could have just done a poison bomb. But energy bombs I like here because while they don't keep away the destroyers, they keep jugs off you. Don't wait for the jug to move. I'll show you how I do this next area shortly. So I'm gonna do this. Destroyers will come to try to fuck with me. Gonna throw that there. Get the stuff to run to the south here. But then get in here and poison bomb myself. So I see. Um, it's another game of counting. There should be three juggernauts in this area. Sorry, you can't see where I'm pointing. In this area here. Um, Massacre himself would make the fourth, but it looks like no Massacre today, um, unless he's over to the east, which we are about to check. Right. So as soon as I get off this poison bomb, destroyers are going to come. But if I get this guy to... Could have trapped him right there. Was lazy. Actually, that'll be worth it. Because then I just got this jug to deal with. He'll follow me in, the destroyers won't. And I will. I'm not doing this the quickest I could. But check over here. Oh shit, there actually may be a massacre. Um. Like, jokes aside, I'm gonna. Huh, what's the best way to do this? <laughs> not to uh, not to lead you guys on. I think there just actually might be a massacre. Um, gonna. Okay. So the jugs are gonna come up at me now. So I'm gonna. Just try to see if I can lure anything back this way. Cool. Got one juggernaut out of my hair over here. A couple of furies as well. Ah, that's annoying. Oh, because I damaged it. Yep. Okay. Should be fine now. All right, let's let's see you once and for all. So these things are trapped, so I'm just gonna throw that there. All right, I need to see that juggernaut. Okay, just another. It's a third juggernaut. Fuck. <laughs> so three jugs right there. One to the east. Anything to the north. If there it is. Then it's massacre. But nope, there's not. So no bosses today. Uh, sorry, the. Uh, Juggernaut check wasn't too smooth, but yeah, that's how you check uh, six out of the seven POI seals. And now I'll show you how to get out. It would be nice to be trapped for instructional purposes, but not feeling like it today. And this exit here, take this northern out. And just like that, you're safe and on your way out. But that's how you do a POI check. Um, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Alpha Horcrux on the server Pythera, solo uh, running POI. Appreciate you guys watching and have a great day.